why do pregnant women cry so damn much? Hello, November. So it all started off with Bon Appetit, which was a great excuse for me to eat literally as much sugar as possible. I think I sat down and had 11 donuts. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I just know what's to come. And then there was this week where my belly grew literally five inches Hello. in seven days insane then that made me realize just how quickly my body is changing and growing and how i've had to make so many i guess conscious shifts every day to make sure that i'm maintaining a balance that really works for me i've learned so much even this time around about my body and what it takes to keep my mind and my body nourished for myself and for these big old boys inside here. Hopefully I can share some of those moments and what I learned and noticed with you. Weirdest craving. It's just like this week, all I want is salmon. That's it. So badly that I'll bring it to a restaurant myself. I can't believe it. I'm having twins. But now I know why I'm so big. I'm so big. I'm getting so big. Hi guys, I am going on Taste Buds, which is from Bon Appetit. We're eating. <gasps> What's new? Um, we're actually gonna be trying a bunch of different donuts and they're sweet, they're savory. And I feel like, you know, indulging um, with, uh, you know, parameters is always good. It's always healthy. So I'm just really excited to be eating some donuts shamelessly. We're back on set and I have nails. I never have nails, hello. I'm shooting Revlon today. My cravings are per usual, like they were with Isaac. And I'm just so happy to be back on set. I'm on this Stairmaster after having been on my feet all day, shooting makeup for Revlon, the whole campaign. I'm so tired, but I'm doing it for my boys. Let's hear it for the boys. <laughs> Why do pregnant women cry so damn much? What is the hormone inside of us? All I want is cold drinks. <laughs> sabotage month where you just eat literally everything and you just go into december and you just keep eating but it's okay i'm just embracing it i hope you are too just celebrated thanksgiving with my family and we ate everything in sight i had two of my favorite pumpkin pies delivered from 16 mil i like them because they would do like a little gluten-free she makes it with maple syrup it's delicious. And then I just kind of go ham on everything else. It's interesting because this pregnancy has made me super aware of what I'm putting in my body. I don't want to like not be a human and eat what I want to eat, but also I need to take care of the twins. You are what you eat. It's a lot when you're pregnant. Your body changes like literally week to week. So I have had some meltdowns. I have had some really happy moments. And I'm really happy about this burrito. All right, so I have been talking a lot about how my body is changing and I've been going through so many changes changes and how I'm making sure to keep like a balance with what I'm eating and working out, but also indulging. I've also been spending a lot of time nourishing my mind and my relationship. Justin and I are on our baby moon at my favorite spots. This is our little deck. Isn't it so pretty? It's our little room. Oh, I love it. Being here has really been a great break for my mind. Um, I've been reading. We also, what we do is we bring our yellow pads, like old school yellow pads, and we write out what our dreams and our goals, personally, professionally, we write down declarations for what we wanna declare over our lives for the next year. We have just been really connecting together and stepping away from New York, the city, the noise of, of life and connecting. And it's been really beautiful. And honestly, there's something like kind of metaphoric in the faster that I keep growing, the more I'm realizing that I need to slow down and enjoy these moments and really just take time to embrace everything that's, that's happening around me. 
quite literally. I can't see my vagina or my feet, so it just is what it is. I don't know anybody that doesn't want a smooth foot, so I have been using this Flawless Pedicure. This has been really helpful. I currently cannot actually get to my feet. I have to kind of go into like a pretzel position. Um, my stomach is so large now. <sighs> hey guys. Hey guys. Hello in there. See that, see that dryness? Look at that. Look at that dust. That is dried calluses. Sayonara balls of the feet that need a pedicure. So normally I would do this in the shower. Weird, I'm gonna have to get the vacuum cleaner out for all that callus. And then I would lotion it and then I would have Thank you, Flawless, for keeping my feet so smooth. I'm currently stretching. The boys, they do this, they do this with me. Oh, they just, you know, I can kind of get them in there. Anyways, you guys know how important it is, like how I've always been working out and especially my pregnancy with Isaac. Well, I just never got back in shape after Isaac. But I will say that this pregnancy feels a little bit different because I've got twins and, <sighs> I'm just like always sweaty and everything. Why Why is it important to work out to you, Antonio? Number one, mental sanity. Yes. Two, physical form and shape. Yes. Get the physical form and shape. <laughs> Double chin shape is important to just move your body, period. So I'll be in the gym today, just stretching a little bit beforehand because, oof. If you've ever been pregnant, you know all about sciatic pain. My God. It was so nice that I could talk to a bunch of you guys on all the different social platforms. I really feel like I was able to build a community um, on the social platforms this pregnancy because I knew where to go. Being a person is just a wild ride in general, but you know, just throw in like ever-changing hormones, your body, your cravings, it's a lot. So. We need each other. And I hope that this video gave you some comfort and it gave you a reassurance that um, that you're okay and that you're not alone. Um, and I think that we just need to continue having these conversations. And I also hope that this video shows you that our bodies are ever fluctuating and it's not about size and shape that equals health. It's really just about embracing where you are and living your healthiest, best self right then. It's a journey every single day. And we know that we've talked a lot about that here, but it's always good to be reminded. And don't forget, you are so wonderfully gorgeous. I will talk to you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Mm -hmm. Ah!